Hi, this is Gloomer 2024, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use iDVD on the Mac. I'm going to go into my apps, and I'm going to go to my iDVD program. This video was requested by a user on YouTube, so I'm going to make that for that person because I was asked to make it to show you guys how to do it. First off, let me say that iDVD is great for customizing your DVD. It's one of the best programs out there to do that. You can as you can see right on the right automatically you got a list of um, a bunch of themes for the main menu um, we got sunflower and vintage and modern cinema is like my second favorite I'm just going to change it real quick it right there some of them have music some of them don't this one does you can see the drop zones and stuff like that I'll show you what that is in a second but my favorite is this one. We got some older themes, but I like Revolution the best. So we got on the Revolution theme for the main menu is this revolving background. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the top left. You're gonna click File, Import, Video. And you're gonna import whatever video you want to be on there. You want to be on your DVD. Since I don't have really have any movies on here, all I have is a Seinfeld episode. That's even remotely close to being a long DVD. Um, I'm just going to use that. And then it just pops up on the main menu, right there. You can either like edit the um, name of it, or you can change the size, or the font. You've got a couple of options here. This is just there. It's just the name of the menu. You can get rid of it, or you can change the name, or whatever you want to do. I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, so one of the things that you can do is add, see there's a drop zone right there, see if you can see that, there's a drop zone right there. Um, you can add either a picture or a part of the video into there. So I'm going to go, since, I, well actually I'll just show you guys how to do that. Go into my photos, and I'm just going to drop a picture of a PS3 in there. I'm just going to grab it, and drag it, and drop it right in the drop zone. Now. There's a picture of a PS3 in there. You can change it to whatever picture you want. Um, but yeah, you can definitely do that. Um, you can add audio to it if you want, instead of this stupid... It's annoying. I like to add music to mine. Whoa. This music's stupid. Let's just add this. Oh no, that's... Video. Don't want to be adding more videos on here when it's good enough. Let's do let's just let's add this actually, it's fine. So I just added dragged it over and added audio to the menu. We're gonna click it just for a second so I don't get any copyright issues. No, that sure that one for me. So you see I have that audio as the background. The background audio for the main menu. Um so now that we're done pretty much customizing this menu, um, actually one thing I didn't show you guys, but this drop zone, instead of adding a picture, you could go into the top left, click advanced, uh, no, actually click project, you can click autofill drop zones, and then I'll just add parts of the video into the drop zones. Whatever video you have on there, it'll just automatically add parts of it. Clear for everyone to see, oh baby. So you can see right there. Um, so that's pretty much the menu is pretty much customized. Uh, one thing I'm gonna say is with uh, the video options, when you add your video, you're gonna click on it, you're gonna go to the top left, you're gonna go to project, project info. Then it says your disk name is my great DVD. You can change that. You don't have to. You can. Um, video mode, you leave that. The ratio, if you want it widescreen, you leave it widescreen. If you want it standard, change it to standard. There we go. I like mine widescreen. Um, encoding is what you want to focus on. Um, best performance is for um, about. 20 minute DVDs, high quality is for a couple minute DVDs, which is like a music video like I have on here. 
So best performance is what's good for my TV show, that my 20 minute TV show. Professional quality is for about over an hour long of movie, which is what most people use IDVD for is to make their own movies. So if you have something over an hour long, you're going to want to go with professional quality. And then you're going to uh, just X out of it after you select that. But best performance is what's good for my um, video that I have right now. So now that you've set up this whole menu pretty much, I'm just going to show you how to look at it. You click uh, this little button. If you want to see what you have on there, your drop zones and stuff like that, your menu, you can go into here, and uh, this shows you everything you have on the DVD. You have your menu, and from the menu you can go into the movie. Um, if you click on your movie, you can click advanced, and then you can create chapter markers for a movie. You click that. And since my episode is about 20 minutes long, I'm going to set it to make it for every 4 minutes. So it's, it'll make scenes. Do that. And you can see it makes a bunch of scenes for that episode. And this will make it easier to, if you want to skip to a certain part in the episode or the movie, you could just do that. Be, like regular DVDs. You could just have it do that automatically. Again, you would just click on your movie, go to advanced, and click create chapter markers. So that you've seen kind of the options and stuff like that, you can um, click the uh, play button and stuff like that. You can make little buttons and stuff like that for text and whatever you want. Your themes again. Um, to show what your movie is going to look like, you click the play button. You've got your movie. always that one person that will always have your heart. Double click on the movie. Never that one person that have your heart. You never see it come. I'm going to scene selection. Just that to show one you. person that have your heart. You never just lower that so I don't get any copyright issues. But I just went to um, chapters, and you can see all of the chapters. Um, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, all that. There's only six scenes because it's every four minutes, and it's only like a 20-minute episode, which makes sense. Um, you can go back. And you can just go into play movie instead of scene selection. And there's your episode. Let's go back to the menu. So there, right here, is what you see is my actual movie. This is what it'll look like on, actually, this is what the starting point will look like. If I burned it and played it on my, D my DVD player, it would come up as this, and I would just click on this thing with my remote, and then it would go to this, and I could choose whatever. But now that I've just shown you how to do that, um, you can, how to set up your DVD, you can go into back into your settings right here. And you can go to the top left and you can uh, just burn it to DVD. And I don't have a disc in here so you just click cancel. But yeah, that, I hope that was helpful to rec who requested the video. If you have any issues, if I was too scattered about it, because I don't use it that much, but when I do make some DVDs, it's a very good tool. Uh, customize your own background and stuff like that, make your own drop zone, drag pictures, your own audio, um, make your chapters as long as you want. It's just, uh, very customizable and that's what I like about my programs. Um, so let me know what you guys thought. If you need help, you can leave me a comment or you can message me, whatever you guys need to do and I'll try to help you out. I'll, um, try to make more videos for you guys. Leave me a comment, let me know what you want to see. This video is requested, so I went ahead and made it. So well, that's all you guys have to do is just ask for it, and you'll most likely get it. So this was how to make a movie with iDVD. And uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.